All right, all right, all right. Welcome guys to day 10. Um, and I'm really excited about today because the first time I learned this thing, it was um, it was really cool, you know, knowing uh, how to open up random files using that browse button, you know, which you must have seen whenever you op want to open up a new file. Uh, for example, whenever I go to file and let's say I click on open, uh, this, this kind of a browse kind of a thing opens up. Uh, so this is what we are going to be learning today, how to make a button that uh, using which we can open up just any, any file. So currently we are just uh, using this journey.wav file inside our project folder and then we are just playing it using this uh, load. First we are loading it and then we are just playing it. But what if we want to open up any random music file, not this journey.wav. Obviously we can't ask the user to paste it again in the melody folder or the project folder. So what we are going to do is we are going to make that browse uh, file dialog. All right. But before that, uh, I want to just recap what we did in our previous video. So in the previous video, we created this um, amazing message box. Uh, yeah, this is a music player built uh, using Python Kinter. And then we learned how to destroy this window using this root.destroy function. Uh, so whenever you click on this, uh, on this exit button is going to execute this root.destroy function inside Kinter and your project or your window is going to close down and the program is going to end. All right. So yeah, before I start this video, one more thing that I need to do that I've uh, messed up uh, that I've, I was just going to say fdaf, fdaf, but I don't know whether I should say that word or not completely. Uh, anyways, I fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, I just said it, bitch. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so what we need to do is uh, over here, if you remember at the starting, where is this? Uh, let's see, where, where, did, where have I defined the scale? All right, so here's the scale. Uh, I use this uh, scale dot set, all right? Uh, and I set it to 70, all right? And then uh, I set the volume to 70. I don't know if I have set the volume to 70 in the previous video or not, so I'm just going to remove this once. And then I'm going to do it again. So what I need to do is uh, in the previous project files, if you notice, I have set the scale to 70, but I have not executed the set volume function. So even though the uh, scale, let's let's execute it again and see what's up. All right. Uh, all right. So even though the scale is showing 70, the volume right now is not 70. It's just the volume, like some default volume inside uh, the mixer class of pi game. So we have to first set the volume to actually 70. So for that, it's pretty simple. We just write mixer dot music dot set volume. Now we can't set it to 70 because set volume has uh, uh, ranges from zero to one. So instead of 70, we can just write 0 0.7, which is kind of like 70 in uh, set volume function. Yeah. So this was one mistake that I wanted to fix. I know uh, a lot of people must be like going crazy in the previous videos in the set volume video or something that hey like he must have set the volume but what happened to the uh, he hasn't actually uh, set the volume he has just set the default uh, scale as 70. Uh, so yeah I just fixed it right now uh, and now let's get on to making that browse uh, portion of our uh, video. So what I want to do is whenever we click on this open button in the top bar or the menu bar a uh, browser should open a browser file dialog should open and we should be able to select the music that we want. So for that, we are first going to import uh, something from Kinter called file dialog. So from Kinter import file dialog, pretty simple. And then uh, just below this sub menu, I'm going to just create a function that's going to uh, open up a file dialog. But actually first let me execute, uh, write a command over here. So I'm just going to write command. And you already know what this command means by now, if you don't uh, go back to previous videos. Uh, so this is going to call a function. I'm just going to call a function known as um, browse uh, file. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then I'm actually going to create this function, browse uh, underscore file. I messed up the spelling of browse, Jesus. All right, browse file. And then inside this, I'm going to create a variable called uh, file name, which is going to store uh, the name of the file. And then I'm just going to write uh, file file dialog dot ask open file name. 
So it has a lot of uh, values over here. Whenever you want to save a file, you use this ask save as file name. Uh, but I want to open up a file, so I'm just going to use this ask open file name. And whenever this opens up and you select a file, it's stored in this file name variable. So let me just show it to you by printing it out. Print file name. It's going to print out the whole path. It's not just going to print out uh, the file name. So now let's execute this file. Let's go to main.py, right click on it and run main.py file. And then we'll go to file, open up. And now as you can see, this browser dialog has opened up and now we can select the file that we want. So I have this uh, Ed Sheeran's music, I see fire. It's a pretty, it's pretty good uh, music. Um, if you haven't heard of it, go, go just close this video and listen to it first. <laughs> so I'm just going to open this file. And because I've used the print statement in our uh, in our function of browse file is going to print out the file name and the path so this is the path as you can see this is the file name that is 16 ic file.mp3 and this is the whole path that is required to execute a file inside our uh, play music function over here so what we are going to do is we need this uh, file name inside our play music function so i'm just going to declare this uh, file name as a global variable and how do you do that in python just declare it as global file name and now you can use this variable anywhere you want so if i want uh, to use it inside my let's say play underscore music function over here instead of journey dot wave file i can just write file name not equal to just file name and this would be good enough to load a new file so what's happening let me just recap a little bit so when we click on this file open button, it goes to this add command and then it executes this function called browse underscore file. It goes to browse underscore file. It declares a global variable called file name. Basically a global file uh, variable is uh, a variable which you can access anywhere in the Python code. So even if I have declared it inside this uh, function, I can use it anywhere else in my code. Uh, I mean, there are other ways to do it. Um, I can probably call the function, return some values and stuff, but I feel that this is the most easiest way, according to me. Obviously, you can like try out your own way. It's, it's not that complex, uh, but I see. I think this is the easiest way to do it. So I just declare this global file file name, and then I use the file dialog dot ask open file name, and this is the most important line that actually opens up that browse file dialog window. And then uh, I've just printed out the file name, which you don't need right now because uh, I was just uh, going to show it for you for uh, demonstration purposes. And then um, after opening up the browse file, it goes to this play music area and it uh, loads that file name. All right, so what we're gonna do is, uh, let's close this up. I just wanna execute it from the top and I'm gonna show you how the music is playing and stuff. Uh, so you might not be able to hear my voice. So first I'm going to go to file. Uh, don't play it right now because right now there's no variable called file name and it will throw you an error. Actually, let me just execute this play button and show you the error. So as you can see, there's this uh, error which says name file name is not defined because till now this function hasn't been called. The browse file hasn't been called. So it can't find the file name variable. So what we are gonna do is, uh, let's, uh, before fixing this up, let's actually no, I, like, let's let's fix fix this error up first. All right. So in the play underscore music function, we are just going to write try and catch. So first try this, and if there is some kind of an error, except uh, then just print uh, error. All right. I'll make it a little bit better afterwards, but for right now, I think it's uh, decent enough. All right. Let's reload this. All right, now if I play instead of like, haven't opened uh, up any kind of file, now if I press this play button, instead of giving us a very bad red error, it just shows us error. And then we can go to file, open, and uh, I can click on this file, and then I can press this play button. Oh, misty eye of the mountain below. And you should be uh, hearing some background music. I just put the volume at zero so as to make sure that it's working or not. And then I'm just going to stop the music uh, and then maybe close this file. All right, guys. So 
you know what one last thing that i want to do before ending this video is that um, right now this error is only showing being shown in the python console so what i want to do is i also want to maybe give a message to the user who is using the music file that there is some kind of error or he hasn't selected uh, some kind of music file so what i'm going to do i'm just going to use this message box again all right so it's pretty easy i'm just going to use this this uh, instead of show info we are going to use the show error so in the except area, I can just use ginter dot message box dot show error and then the title of the error uh, file uh, not found. All right, and then the actual information inside the error, which we can write um, melody couldn't could not could not find the file please check again all right let's uh, let's test this out oh this is the recording area so i'm just going to press this play button all right now if we try to press this play it's gonna give us an error merely could not find the file please check again so yeah this is one more step in the user interaction and it just makes the interaction of the user with the Kinter music player, this melody music player a little bit better. So guys, this is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we are going to be building this, uh, this status bar that you see at the bottom of PyCharm, which says ID and plugin updates. It basically uh, says what is going on currently. All right, so if, if some kind of um, like music is playing, I wanted to say playing some music and uh, give a file name or something after the after the statement that music is playing or music is stopped but anyways we'll discuss that uh, tomorrow in day 11 uh, before i end this video i just want to format this properly and if you are using pycharm you can press ctrl alt plus l and it will automatically uh, you know format it and make it clean python for you so you won't have any kind of uh, any kind of errors over here it will just look really really good anyways guys this is pretty much it i'll see you on day 11